Hello everyone, welcome back to Scented Moments channel. I'm Jolima and today I want to talk about 10 fragrances that in my perspective they are a must try whenever you are in your fragrance journey. I think you have to try any of these 10 fragrances. Uh, so I have here five designers and five, well technically they are six niche fragrances. Uh, so without further ado, let's start off with the designer side of things and I have here a fragrance from the house of Dio. The fragrance is Eau Sauvage Eau de Toilette. Eau Sauvage from Dio, it's already a classic, a masculine classic scent. It's citrusy, has one of the best lemon fragrances in the designer realm. Citrusy, slightly fougère, uh, green, woody fragrance, uh, heavily reformulated of course, I my guess is that this doesn't smell like it once smelled actually, but nonetheless, at, at least in my opinion, this is still a masculine staple, uh, gentlemanly, mature, and yet modern. This still smells very modern in my nose at least. It's a stunning fragrance. In terms of performance, um, it's in great. I mean, we're talking about six to seven hours max in terms of longevity, even the projection, it's not incredible. Uh, but nonetheless, I think it's still a stunning fragrance that you have to try, especially if you are searching for a masculine citrusy scent. Eau Sauvage from Dior, definitely a must try. From a citrusy, more light, fragrance let's now talk about the more darker more balsamic fragrance from the house of Lalique the fragrance is Ancre Noir à l'extrême Ancre Noir à l'extrême gorgeous looking bottle and I love the liquid the color of the liquid um, this fragrance is one of my favorite vetiver fragrances ever this has vetiver of course but it, oh man, it's so balsamic, it has incense, it's resinous, it's dark, it seems like you are in this, uh, in the middle of this dark forest with no lights and you have this fog uh, rising up. It's a stunning fragrance. If you are searching for a fantastic, very, very unique scent, masculine again, but yet, like I always say, all fragrances are unisex, just depends on your taste and what you're looking for in a fragrance. La Lique Ancre Noir à l'Extrême, it's my favorite from the line. Um, it's quite expensive nowadays uh, in the discounters, online discounters here in Portugal, but if you're searching, if you search for other uh, European online discounters, this one actually it's quite affordable and in the USA and Canada, um, actually you can find for, you can find La Lique Ancre Noir à l'Extrême for a very affordable price. We're talking about 30 to 40 euros slash dollars max. La Lique Ancre Noir à l'Extreme, a great quality scent from La Lique. And the next fragrance in the design around that I think it's a must try, definitely. It's from House of Mugler and the fragrance is Pure Malt. This one right here. It's gorgeous. I love the the star. I love the, the bottle presentation actually. Might some might find it a bit tacky, especially because of the spray. I don't I never had any concern, any problem with the spray actually. Um, but um, in terms of the scent inside, this is a must try. This is the best boozy fragrance in the designer realm. This has whiskey, it has a patchouli, dried fruits, so it's sweet, fruity, and very boozy. I absolutely love this fragrance. Some say that this was heavily reformulated to the point that now it's it has very low performance. I don't know about that. This one actually was my first blind buy in 2017 and to this date it's so lovely. One of my favorite boozy fragrances, definitely um, one of the best out there. Pure Malt by Mugler. The next fragrance that I think it's a must try, it's from the house of Maison Margiela and fragrance is by the fireplace. I already did a review of this one last year, 
Um, this is my favorite from Martin Marcella uh, or Maison Marcella, now it's called. Uh, this one has a lot of hype and I completely agree with the hype. This is one of the few fragrances that I actually say yes. This definitely meets the hype. Uh, it's very unique for a designer fragrance. Um, this literally smells like you are by the fireplace. You have this roasted chestnut. Uh, it smells like a campfire. You are near a campfire. It's very woody, uh, very smoky and sweet. It's lovely. Uh, it's, it's so cozy. It's the coziest fragrance that I have in my collection. Very cozy, very alluring, warm, uh, very addictive by the fireplace it's incredible definitely a must try from Maison Margiela the next fragrance that I want to mention is from the house of Tom Ford and actually I have two fragrances from Tom Ford here and I have two fragrances because I have one from the signature line and the other one from the private blend collection but from the signature line I think a must try a staple that you have to try it is Black Orchid Eau de Parfum. Black Orchid Eau de Parfum, it's an incredible dark, you have truffles, you have patchouli, you have frankincense, oh man, it's balsamic, it's dark, it's slightly sweet, uh, it's damp, <laughs> it's fantastic. Uh, unisex through and through, when I first try this one. I don't know if it's still marketed towards women or not, but when it, this was first released, yes, this was marketed towards women, but I think this is a unisex fragrance. Hey, in, even if you ask me, I think this is a more masculine than uh, feminine. This also has this orchid accord also. Very narcotic, black orchid, eau de parfum from Tom Ford, very complex, dark, unique scent that definitely you have to try, even if you don't enjoy it. Another fragrance from the house of Tom Ford, now from the Private Blank collection, and this is no surprise uh, that I think this fragrance is a must try. The fragrance here that I want to say is Tobacco Vini. Doesn't need any introduction in this channel already. Tobacco Vini, of course, I have a very special bond with this fragrance. It's sweet, spicy with tobacco, uh, one of the best tobacco and vanilla combinations, if not the best. Actually, this is the uh, the original, the OG of this type of scent DNA. Then you have a lot of fragrances that try to reinterpret uh, or even to clone this fragrance, but this one is still the OG, still the best in my opinion. Tobacco Vanille from Tom Ford smells like Christmas in a bottle. It's simply outstanding, great performance, at least on my on my skin. So addictive, delicious. Tobacco Vanille from Tom Ford from the Private Blank Collection. Now let's dive into the niche category. In the niche category, I will start with a staple, with a cult, fo cult follow actually. From the house of Any Tower, the fragrance is L'Air de Désert Marocca. My second favorite amber scent, my first being Ambraudia from Profumo Broma, but L'Air de Désert Marocca, it's a masterpiece also. Mm. It's dry, it's spicy, it's ambery, it's resinous. It really smells like you are in the Moroccan desert. I actually already been there uh, back in 2008. I've been there and actually, I really can't imagine myself being there. Ah, you literally smell like the sand in the air, the heat, the dustiness. Mm, it's fantastic, it's very spicy, slightly sweet, resinous and dry. Man, this is a staple, it's a masterpiece from Andy Tower and I actually prefer this one to Au Coeur du Désert but L'Air du Désert Marocain guys, it's the one that you have to try first. Next fragrance that I will mention is from the house of Frédéric Mal and it is Portrait of a Lady, another masterpiece and my favorite rose scent a stunning stunning rose a full carnal red rose spicy with a heavy dose of patchouli also um, this fragrance for me it's a masterpiece doesn't need any introduction another heavy cult follow fragrance portrait of a lady a masterpiece created by Dominique Roupion from Frederick Mal. I think it's a must try Portrait of a Lady, it's fantastic from Frederick Mall. 
Another fragrance that you have to try from the house of Amouage this time. It's my favorite actually from the brand. It is Jubilation 25. Gorgeous looking bottle and this is the definition of a sultry fragrance. This is opulent, it's rich, it's intoxicating, it's sultry. It's literally the best word to describe Amouage Jubilation 25. Uh, you have, I think it's uh, black currant or blackberry. You have a heavy fruity note right in the opening. It's one of these two notes, either it's blackberry or um, black currant. Uh, you also have a lot of incense. You have oud, you have benzoin, opopanax. It's a very heavy, resinous, woody, balsamic, fruity fragrance. Man. It has a lot of notes in here, but although it doesn't change all that much on your skin. I mean, the fruity nuance uh, as it starts to develop uh, fades away, starts to fade away, and then you have a more pronounced incense, woodsy, balsamic fragrance, but it's, in the end, it's very rich, complex, sultry, but still a bit linear, but I love it. Jubilation 25 from Amouage, it's a must try. The next fragrance that I want to mention is from House of Nazumato. And actually, it's very rare when I mention a fragrance from Nazumato for some reason. This one is definitely a cult follow. Also, had a lot of hype back in the day, like in 2018, um, 2017, especially when this was released well, a long time ago. But still, I think it's still must try. It is Pardon. Pardon is a chocolatey oud scent. Stunning, stunning. Delicious, you have this dark chocolate with oud. It's not a very skanky, it's not skanky oud, but definitely it's a more dark, resinous, balsamic oud. Not skanky, but still can be challenging for some notes, especially if you are starting to discover niche fragrances, this can be challenging. But it has a sweetness in, in it, so it, uh, you can really appreciate it by first impressions, but nonetheless, I think this is a very dark, very heavy, intense fragrance, um, but I absolutely love this. And I love the, the bottle presentation of Nazomato. Uh, this is an extrait de parfum, so in terms of performance, you will have no issues, at least um, on my experience, I don't have any issues in terms of performance, and it's quite likable, uh, at least from my experience. Pardon from Nazomato. And last, but certainly not least, I have two fragrances from the house of Garron. In this video, I will consider Guerlain niche. Well, overall, I consider Guerlain niche with a designer line, which is L'Omidial or Mont Guerlain line. But from the most part, I consider, I consider Guerlain as a niche house. And well, I needed to feature two fragrances and I actually I could feature a lot of fragrances from Guerlain, but well, just for the sake of this video, I will mention two classics from Guerlain. First one, Mitsuko. Or the parfum. If you want to smell a Chypre scent, if you want to know how a Chypre fragrance smells like, this one is the one that you have to try. Uh, this is the queen of Chypre fragrances. You have peach in here, but you also have bergamot, you have citruses on the top, you have a touch of animalic nuances, but then you have oak moss. Uh, basically, these are the ingredients that uh, blend a Chypre scent. Don't get fooled by the presentation or that this is marked towards woman. No, this is a unisex fragrance, pure and simple. And Mitsuko is a classic, especially if you're searching for a Chypre scent. I have yet to review this one. Uh, it's such a special fragrance, um, full of history. Mitsuko Eau de Parfum from Garla for a fragrance for a Chypre scent. And the last fragrance from Garland, and I recently talked about this fragrance, is Jiki Eau de Parfum. Jiki Eau de Parfum, it's the first fragrance released by Garland. Man, this is so good. I mean, it's a staple. For me, it's a staple that you should have in your collection, even if you don't like it. <laughs> uh, because this 
this is a piece of history. It really transforms your collection. Like it makes you, it makes your collection more um, artistic, but at the same time more fuller, complete. If that makes sense. Jiki Eau de Parfum has citruses, has spices, it has animalic nuances with civet, uh, it has lavender, it has frankincense, so this is a citrusy, aromatic, fougère, animalic scent. A stunning, complex fragrance from Guerlain. Uh, so sad that they are not doing these type of fragrances anymore, but still, we are very blessed to to have the opportunity to still try these type of fragrances. Of course, it's a shadow maybe of what it once was, but nonetheless, just the fact of still being around that still we can uh, purchase and try these fragrances, it's just by that it's a blessing. Jiki by uh, Eau de Parfum from Guerlain. It's a masterpiece that you have to try, even if you don't like it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me in the comments down below what are your must-try fragrances, fragrances that you suggest that everyone should try. Tell me everything in the comments down below. Tell me if you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Ciao.